Get the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. Uh, well, interestingly, two years ago, the statute dealing with this was changed. The way it works now, right, is that it is presumed that it is okay for your remains to be donated unless you have signed something in writing saying that you don't want them donated. That's the first thing. The second thing is, who is in control of your remains? Because remember, we just talked about who is in control of your remains for purposes of final disposition, for purposes of showings and cremation or burial or whatever. Well, regarding donations of your body, though, the person in control is your health care proxy. Who knew, right? Uh, unless in your healthcare proxy you say that that person is not in control, right? Or say in the healthcare proxy you don't want any of your tissue or, or other things donated. So, to the, once again, for most people, this is not an issue as far as they're concerned. If, you know, somebody needs something that you've got when you die, fine, right? If it is an issue, though, that, that's where you need to address it. So, the way the statute works is for the, in order. First, the person in control of your remains is your pro health care proxy. And that would be the last health care proxy. So who knew? You went to the hospital and signed one of those things that they make you sign right away, just in case you get sick while you're at the hospital. That person has charge of your remains if you die while you're at the hospital, right? Unless, unless you've got a more fancy health care proxy that excludes that, OK? Um, so if, that, if there is no health care proxy, the next person is the personal representative under the will. So, Going back to the discussion we just had about, about you know, disposition of your body, you may want to have in writing, either in the will or in a separate do written document, as long as it's written, and there's no statutory requirement regarding what it says, right? Um, you may want to be dealing with this disposition issue, right? And if you don't have a personal representative because there's no will, then it's the spouse and then the next of kin. One other thing, the New England Organ Bank, all donations go to the same place. It's called the New England Organ Bank. There's a real place, it's in Framingham, or excuse me, Waltham. in Waltham. Your body, by the way, cannot be released if it's at the hospital, right, or at a nursing home until the organ bank has said it's okay to release the body. Any of these people who have a control of a body that has died have to contact the organ bank and have the organ bank agree that it's okay to release that body. And if they need a part, in the meantime, they're gonna go try to find the proxy or whatever to see if they can get a donation. The reason why that's significant, and we're going to take questions, the reason why that's of significance, I had a case with another, we were doing this presentation with another funeral director who said there was a, a case of a daughter who was getting these calls from the organ bank. You know, dad had died in the hospital, was in the hospital, and that's where the body was. And he was getting these calls from the donor ba organ bank and really didn't want to return the calls because he didn't want to donate any, anything of the remains. But as a result of his failure to return the calls, the hospital couldn't release the body because they needed permission from the organ bank to release the body, and the organ bank wasn't going to give permission until they talked to somebody. So if you, if you die, you want to tell whoever's in charge of your remains, it's okay to talk to the organ bank. And in addition to state law on this, there's actually a federal law which controls all these donations and has assigned uh, in each region of the country a, a, a place like the New England Donor Bank, which is my understanding covers all of New England except immediate suburb in New York, New York, like the, that part of Connecticut. So have you had issues with, with, with donations and how has that worked? Uh, we haven't worked. had issues, but yeah. I can tell you what we've experienced. Yeah. Um, so for example, Cape Cod Hospital, um, someone dies there. Um, we're notified by the family that Mrs. Smith has died. We call the hospital, ask for the release. They say no on hold for organ bank. Okay. Not unusual. Um, so what that means is um, the organ bank is determining whether or not they're, they're going to uh, take any type of organs or skin or anything like that. Um, but ultimately, the New England organ bank is calling the family and in in saying, can we do this or can we not do this? 
Um, so again, if, if there's no communication, then that body will sit there until there's a decision. Um, so I think ultimately families have the right of refusal for the organ bank. Um, it can delay things a, a little bit, um, but, uh, but they are very pretty efficient. Um, yes. The body does go up to Waltham, um, but they, they seem pretty organized and have a pretty good um, system in place. So uh, delays that I may have seen a couple years ago, I, I just don't see that. So it, um, it, it seems to be a pretty good organization as and, far as. And so here's why, how you may be different from Martha's Vineyard. Well, I was talking to your counterpart in Martha's Vineyard yeah. who said that the organ bank folks will actually come to Martha's Vineyard to kind of view the body, to see if they, if they want any part of the body back. So they must like to go to Martha's Vineyard more than Nantucket. Yeah, they have, they have teams. I know no. they have teams of, <laughs> of uh, uh, people, I'm not sure how you describe yeah. them, um, that can go out to the place of death and retrieve the, the organs that they're looking for. And, um, so, and that can happen in the middle of the night, um, during the day, um, but, but they ideally want every, they want the bodies in Waltham. In Waltham. So I had a couple of questions. Ma'am, you had a question? Yeah. The question is, is this the same thing as the, as the organization that's, that deals with when you check the your box in your license? The answer is yes. Yes. And if you've made that determination, then that this issue of whether or not the remains are going to go has been clarified because if you've actually said that you want the remains, your remains to be, it's okay to have the remains donated, then whether it's your proxy or your personal representative or whatever, once the organ bank has, has you know, they're going to contact them, but there's no question that the body will go, right? The only question the simpler is. simpler way is just not to check that off. Well, but if you don't check off the box, as I had mentioned, unless you've done something in writing that specifically says that you don't want your remains to be donated, they will hold the body and look for a health care proxy, and if not, look for a, a personal representative. Now, any of those people who have charge of your remains can say no, right? Can simply say no, whether you've given them any instructions or not. I'm just saying to you that at this point, of course, you're dead. So if, if you really want to give them, if you want to let them know that you don't want the body to be donated, then you may want to tell your personal representative or your your uh, health care proxy, okay? You just need some r writing that demonstrates that you don't want the body to be donated. But I thought there was one other question. Yes, ma'am, and yes, ma'am. The question is, can you send a letter be before you die to the organ bank saying that I don't, I don't want to participate in this? The answer is, I'm sorry, no one asked me that until now, and so I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know if you can actually exclude yourself beforehand as opposed to putting it in your will or your, or your health care proxy. Yeah. Do, you, do you know that, you know, I, I'm a little unclear on some of those issues. It seems to me that the New England Organ Bank automatically gets involved with hospitals. Um, if you die at home, um, if you die in a nursing home, I, I don't feel as if I see the New England Organ Bank, uh, that subject coming up um, in those cases. So I think it, 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 it's definite with the hospitals. If you die in a hospital, uh, New England Organ Bank's notified, and I'm not sure if they did, you know, have a criteria of you know, the condition of the body and all that, and then, then they just say, hey, we're we want this per particular body, um, so we need to contact the family. So I'm not sure how, how they determine which body, but the hospitals, it seems clear that um, uh, they can take jurisdiction. Um, and same with medical examiners. Uh, the yep. body ends up at the medical examiner. Um, same thing. Um, That's correct. The statute requires them. That's right. The statute, actually pro statute prohibits institutions from releasing bodies without the permission of the organ bank. But as to whether at the organ bank there are a list of people who have already said no so that when the hospital calls the organ bank they can check because it's all of course computerized and say nope this one person's already off the list, right? I don't know that but I'll email you. I'll find that out. That's a, that's a great trivia question. Yes, sir. So the question is if they, if assuming that you've checked off the box and now you're dead, right. and the organ bank w is has asked to have your remains sent to the organ bank, will they notify the family ahead of time? Yes. I would be astonished if they didn't. Although I don't know that. Have you have have you? That, that's a. I'm not sure. I don't know that either. I, I I'm under the impression they contact families prior to doing what they do. Isn't that interesting? Um, yes, ma'am. One question, then we want to move on. Can you? The question is, can you check the check off your license? Yes, by just notifying, but you need to notify the registry. Notice. That's right. That's right. Okay?